We're here at CES today showing off Clifford. Clifford is our first major milestone in converting our product to a commercially viable product. Even though we have a prototype Jenny who looks great, feels great, and moves great, she wasn't capable of surviving everyday use, passing any of the many safety certifications that we need to acquire, nor would she be manufacturable efficiently in large quantities. So we retain Synapse to help us re-engineer the product from the ground up. Clifford is uh, what we call Alpha One, uh, features five major mechanical subsystems, the mouth, the eyes and eyebrows, the ears, the neck and the tail. One of the biggest challenges was redesigning the neck and the head interface to achieve this particular position, the classical dog sleep position. On top of that, reducing the number of actuators within the body to actually achieve those positions is key. Actuators cost, they are a source of uh, reliability issues and a uh, source of controllability issues. Whole neck, head interface and head are a new design with significantly reduced number of actuators, particularly in the head where we've combined actuators to do two, mo two motions from one device. It's shown in the eyes and the eyebrow. One area where we spent significant time was in redesigning the tail where we wanted to achieve two functions from one actuator. That was an improvement on the original design where it's used two actuators to, to generate a rather mechanical looking tail. This one is more fluid, it is more robust, and achieves a sleep position where the tail wraps around on itself. One area where we looked at was the mouth and the jaw, particularly because this is a pinch point for the users and given the type of person that's going to be interacting with this, we needed to be very careful to make sure that, that no harm could come to the user. Uh, the mouth is spring-loaded and that has been designed so that it minimizes the clamping force uh, if someone were to put their um, put their fingers into, into the mouth. The final area where we tackled were the ears. The ears on the original product were very, uh, had very little motion associated with them. The design here allows us to both lift the ear and move the ears backwards and forwards. That allows us to give an inquisitive look or to the puppy when it's looking up at the user. Features like this add realism to the robot. And that was one of the key uh, elements that Tombot wanted to uh, maintain in this design over the original Jenny design. On the electronics front, we've incorporated a lot of uh, audio uh, electronics into the puppy. This allows us to do sound localization. When I, call the, uh, when I call Clifford's name, the idea is that Clifford then looks at you um, and stares at the user. Um, that's quite a challenge to do, particularly uh, in electronics that are not connected to the internet, so standalone electronics in the, in the unit. On the electronics, we've also included uh, low energy Bluetooth. This allows us to control and uh, add some characteristics to, the, uh, to Clifford remotely. It also allows Clifford to identify other Cliffords that are in the local vicinity and change its behavior to deal with other puppies in the room. I knew that it was going to be an incredible opportunity for our team to work together with Tom. They're doing something that is impacting a significant portion of our population who can't take care of a creature on their own. And this robotic system, which is hyper-realistic, allows them to have that companionship. And for our team, there's nothing more rewarding than to have that type of personal impact with the products that we're creating. That's one of the reasons why we've been so excited to work in partnership and in concert with TomBot.